So in today's video, me and my pops are taking a road trip to Orlando, Florida. Me and my pops don't take many road trips together anymore because he is 74 years of age. And I believe it's not as easy as it once was. So getting out of the house, taking my pop on a even a mini vacation and day trip is always really enjoyable because you're gonna see we had fun so sit back relax but remember spending quality time with your family your loved ones is always a necessary thing you don't have a time frame to get to where you're going it's good just to uh, stop take a rest because I don't actually technically have a time to be anywhere I'm just going to Orlando to have some fun So we're currently at the Florida Mall. I think it's the biggest mall in Central Florida, if I'm not mistaken. This mall is so fancy. It has a damn hotel in the mall. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's raining, baby. Haha, <laughs> that's my car. That's how you have to find it. Use paper. Yeah, me and my dad are walking in the rain and getting ready to go get something to eat. But shh, this is crazy. <sighs> Another rainy Florida day. Taking the fam to Portello's, baby. First time my dad being here. So this is gonna be my pops' first time eating here, but it's gonna be my like third time something like that. So for everybody watching, Portello's is a famous Chicago style uh, Italian beef restaurant. Or you can get like the Chicago style hot dogs. That's what I'm getting. Two Chicago style hot dogs. My dad's getting a Maxwell, it's called a Maxwell Polish uh, sausage, which he's never had. And yes, it's crazy. My dad does an experiment with a lot of different food. So I convinced him to try something different than just getting a cheeseburger or getting um, just like a regular hot dog plain. So uh, we're gonna sit down, eat, rub, and if it's not raining, which it's not raining currently right now, we're going to try to go to Icon Park and walk around. I do like the fact that this restaurant has so much artwork and so much stuff on the wall. It makes it feel like you're in a 50s, 1950s diner. And that was the thing. My dad mentioned how it reminds him of all the restaurants he grew up eating at as a kid. Then, lady. That is stupid. We're trying to get way over here. And this lady's doing this. Stupid ass. 30 minutes to find a parking spot. Not fun. Only come in the early morning. This is our trip going to Disney Springs. So like I said guys, just getting out of the house and getting my pops out of the house having fun, and my dad's never been to Disney Springs, my brother's never been to Disney Springs, and I've only been to Disney Springs a few times because of the House of Blues, and they have concerts and all other things, but my dad seems to be enjoying himself. He's not really like the super sociable kind of dude, so going out and doing social things where there's a whole large crowd, he's never been into that. He's never been like, I gotta go. So it's good just to be out and enjoying my uh, dad's company and my brother's company and showing them places that I've been a few times and basically uh, Disney Springs if you guys notice there's a lot of people here right it's basically a shopping district and uh, bomb ass restaurants but it also has bomb ass concerts as well so we're currently looking for jelly beans and my dad likes the big jelly beans not these little tiny little uh, jelly belly ones 
Yeah, yeah, they don't have any of that. They keep them like in a big pole. Yeah. In the uh, back porch. And we just go back there and get them. Before being a Carolinor, I was a more reasonable musical adventurer. I was what they called a drummer. Rocking out jamming, <laughs> doing some metal music. I don't even know what the hell that instrument is. <laughs> My dad liked it. That's all that matters, baby. <laughs> that was dope. That dude is just rocking out. I've never seen an instrument like that in my life. And I've been around musicians my whole life. That's crazy. <laughs> so now we're bouncing from Disney Springs. But that, that, that musician, whatever it was, that was totally dope. That was totally unique and a that was weird. We just got kicked out of an elevator by a security guard saying, hey, hey, you can't come in. Yeah, we actually found what he wanted. The, yeah, jelly beans, the ones that we were looking for. We found them here at Bucky's gas station. Haha, -ha, that's dope. So, uh, haha, -ha, that's dope. Because uh, my dad was kind of disappointed that he couldn't find them anywhere. He's never been able to find them. They always have, like, the jelly belly ones, and he's like, they're not great. These are the ones that he wants. And these are like the old-fashioned chili beans, and he, they can't be found. So we found them here. I was like, that's actually dope that my, my pops actually was able to find something that he's been wanting for a very long time. That's a cool thing. 